Let's start combining polynomials. First, we're going to look at addition, then we'll look at subtraction, multiplication, division. Always follows that order. So when we're adding polynomials, that first example, if I'm adding these two together, are the parentheses going to matter out front? So if I'm adding this polynomial, the entire thing, and the entire second polynomial, do either of those parentheses matter? I got a one on on the front and a one on on the front. So no, we can drop those and combine our like terms. So let's do that. How many x cubes am I going to have? So I've got negative 3 all the way on the right and positive 4 coming from the second one. So how many altogether x cubes am I going to have? 1. How many, what comes next, x squareds do I have? He doesn't have any buddies, so I'm adding 3x squared. We want to have it in descending order. What comes next? Squared, or excuse me, we took care of the squared, 2x. x to the first power comes next, so that one's taken care of. And lastly, our constants. So I have negative 4 and positive 2 to combine together. So I'm looking at negative 2. So we write it in descending order, combining our like terms. Now for the second one. Let's start this one again. So how many x to the fourths do I have? Mm. They have the same denominators. Nice. So I've got two-thirds over here, and I'm taking away one-third. So how many are we going to have all together? One-third x to the fourth. That was our highest power. We took care of that first. And do we have any cubed powers? We do. Right here, I've got 1. So we'll add 5x cubed. He didn't have anybody to combine with. Next uh, power to look at, squared. So I've got 3x squared minus 3x squared. Are we going to have any x squared terms? They're going to cancel and be gone. So next, negative 2x and positive 3x if I'm adding those together. So I have 3, I'm taking away 2, I'm left with one of them. And I have positive 1 half and negative 1 half to look at at the end. Those are going to cancel, they'll be gone. So adding these two, simplifying a lot nicer when we combine like terms. So take these two, combine these two polynomials, add these two polynomials, see what you get. So in the first, if I'm adding those, if I switch out and and add a plus, the parentheses aren't going to matter. So we can look individually at each term. Highest power that we're looking at. 5x cubed, that will come first. Next highest power is going to be squared. So I have 3 and I'm taking away 2. I'll be left with one of them. Took care of those. Next highest power is 1. So I've got 3 and I'm adding 2. That will give me 5 together. And the constants, negative 4 and negative 2 is negative 6. Literally that simple, just taking the pieces, combining them together. And for this last one, highest power that we can see is cubed. So if I have 17 and I'm taking away 15 of them, I'm left with 2x cubed. Next highest power, squared. I've got a negative and a positive. They'll be gone. What happened with the next one? Positive and negative, those are gone. So I'm combining 4 and negative 2 thirds in the end. But in order to do that, we need common denominators. So what do I need to multiply 4 by to get me there? Right now it's over 1, so I need to multiply by 3 over 3. So we're looking at 2x cubed plus 12 thirds minus two-thirds. So all together I've got 2x cubed plus ten-thirds. And again, those aren't like terms. We can't combine them together, so we're done there. So we can handle addition. Let's start looking at subtraction. So to find the opposite of a polynomial, we change the sign of every single term. So this is the same as multiplying everything by a negative. So in reality, when I'm changing the sign of everything, I'm looking at subtraction in reality. So this first example, let's simplify this. I want to get rid of the parentheses, so I need to distribute to every single term. 
So every single term in there is going to change sign. So now we're looking at negative x squared, positive 3x, negative 4. And let's simplify this second one again. Negative times a negative, positive. Negative times a negative, positive. Negative times a negative, positive. Negative times a positive gives us a negative. So this is what's really going on when we're talking about subtracting two polynomials. Because, do the first parentheses matter here? No, we can copy that down exactly the same without the parentheses. But do they matter in this second chunk over here? Do they matter down there? Yes, because I need to distribute that negative to every single term to get rid of those parentheses. So the sign is going to change for every single one of those. So let's see. I'm subtracting 2x to the 5th, subtracting x to the 4th, adding 4x cubed, and adding 3x squared. And now that all those parentheses are gone, we can start combining our like terms. So the highest power that we can see is to the 5th. So how many factors of x to the 5th am I going to have? 9, 8, 7 all together. Next highest power, what are we looking at? To the 4th, and there's only 1, so we took care of that one. Next highest, cubed. I've got 1 here, and I'm adding 4. I've got 5 all together. Next highest power is squared. So I've got negative 2, and I'm adding 3. So I'll be left with 1. One factor of those. And our constant on the end, he doesn't have any buddies, but that's okay. Plus 4. And again, we always want to report our polynomials in descending order if we can help it. And we've got that going on. All right, so take these next two, subtract those polynomials, see what you get. So the first parentheses don't matter. Again, we can drop them, copy everything down. But now we need to distribute the negative to every single term in that polynomial. Minus 5x cubed plus 4. So combining like terms, highest power that I can see is to the third. If we combine those, I'm looking at two of them. Next to come is 2x, adding our constants together, we've got 8 of them. And for the last, again, write out every single step. First parentheses didn't matter. And we've got some decimals and fractions mixing, that's fine. But now we have to distribute negative to every single term involved. So negative one-half x cubed, negative one-half x squared, negative four-thirds x, and negative 1.2. Whew, this one's going to be a doozy. So the highest power that we can see to the third, and they have common denominators. That's nice. So if I have three halves and I'm taking away one of those halves, what am I left with? 2 over 2, which we'll simplify later. Next, I have squared, squared. I have negative a half and negative a half, so I'm looking at negative 2 over 2 x squared. Again, we'll simplify later. Next, powers to the first. We only have one of those, so I'm looking at negative 4 thirds x and my constants in the end, 0.3, and I'm subtracting negative 1.2. So we're going to be left with negative 0.9. Okay. But we don't want to leave it in this gross form. We want to simplify. 2 divided by 2, what do we get out? 1, one factor of x cubed. 2 divided by 2, negative x squared. Can't simplify these. And we're done. So subtraction, those parentheses on the second polynomial are super duper important.